And today is National Pie Day, and no, not that kind of pie. We're talking the number. We're talking all kinds of pie. Uh-huh. 3.14159265. You know that number that we had to learn up to what, like seven points after the decimal? I don't remember. School? Whatever I, it was I had to learn, I stopped <laughs> after 3.14. <laughs> well, it is a constant value in math that represents the circumference of a circle to its diameter. Some people celebrate by eating a slice of pie, ordering a pizza pie, or even walking 3.14 miles, which is not a bad thing to do if that? you decide to eat pie. Mm -hmm. Just take, you know, a couple of steps. It's not a bad idea. March 14th also happens to be Albert Einstein's birthday, so it is a perfect day for math lovers as well. Only 6% of Americans have memorized the first 10 digits of pi. I don't even know if I believe that. And if you're wondering who knows the most digits, the world record set was back in 2015 by somebody named Suresh Kumar Sharma yep. in India. He memorized and recited pi up to the 70 thousand decimal places and it only took him 17 hours to do so. <laughs> the record uh, for knowing the most digits by an American was 16,000 and that was set in by Paul Herding back in 2020. So speaking of pie, mm -hmm. this brings us to our question of the day. What is your absolute favorite pie? It can be pizza pie, mm -hmm. it can be pumpkin pie, mm -hmm. it, can it can be, be key lime, lime pie. pie. And you're probably wondering why we decided on That's the key lime pie. pie. It's because we've talked about this pie so much that we decided that we just wanted to, to share a slice oh, no. of it with you, our friends at home today. Don't you pre -cut um, this, for us. this is not pre cut. You're watching this happen live right here. Okay, so this is Publix, and this is not a commercial for Publix. Absolutely but Darcy not. Darcy and I just legitimately love this key lime Publix pie. Uh -huh. If you have not tried this before, don't sleep on it. I'm telling you, this tastes like going all the way to Florida and getting yourself a piece. I mean, what is wrong here? I'm so, this it's is, okay. I mean, it's okay. The, the, it, here's the thing about pie. It doesn't have to be pretty. Mm -hmm. It just has to get in your tummy. All right. And here's the other thing about these pies, <laughs> and you're not going to, you're going to be really mad that I'm telling you this if you don't know, already know this. Okay. They make a smaller version of this pie. They do, a baby pie. And sometimes, you know, if you just want a little baby pie mm -hmm. to just eat all by yourself at, you could do it. You know, what midnight when you're sitting there and you're in the refrigerator. Sometimes, doors Darcy, open if it's been a bad day, you don't even have to cut the pie. You, you just can just eat it. Stick your fork in the pie and just go from there. So um, on this pie day, we want to know. We want you to eat pie. Mm -hmm. Also, guys, there's a lot of deals going on today. Um, pizza places, Domino's, Marco's, just to name a few, Blaze, mm -hmm. all have pizza pie deals. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind. Some of the places you can get uh, an extra pizza for three fourteen today. Oh, I love the idea of that. Mm -hmm. Every day on Friends at Five, we want you to walk away smarter and happier. And this pie is making us happy. Again, it doesn't matter so what the happy. pie looks like because it's, it's just good pie. It's so good. 